Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. Bootstrap 5, the most famous front-end framework, has just released his second alpha version. If you want to learn what has changed, what has been released, what has been fixed, what has been added, and whether this framework is ready to use in your next project, keep watching. So what has changed in the second alpha release of Bootstrap 5? Honestly, not much. Obviously, there are a lot of small improvements to the documentation, a lot of enhancements, new examples, there were some few minor fixes and some new extra options in components, but overall it's a small update. So, as we said, Bootstrap 5 has just released its second alpha version. Now, if we check a project board, we're gonna see that there are around 200 items shipped in this version. And uh, is 200 a lot? Well, it seems a lot, but if we check properly, we're gonna see that around 73 items out of this 200 are related to dependency, uh, which means some updates uh, like here to the tools which are used to develop some some uh, other uh, some other libraries and frameworks used while developing Bootstrap 5. Then another bunch of items are related to docs itself. We have around 103. Obviously, not uh, all of them are purely docs, but I checked the list and it seems that a lot of them are just related to the docs, which means that something was missing in documentation or something just got enhanced. Uh, obviously, there are some small changes there are some small fixes, there are some small enhancements, and I'm gonna guide you through them in a second. But what is mo most important thing is that, um, as I told you in the previous videos, uh, Bootstrap 5 seems to be quite stable product uh, at the moment, and this Alpha 2 confirms that theory that we don't have a major, major updates, major fixes, uh, on itself, uh, on functionality. Uh, so I believe we can expect stable version very, very soon. And in my opinion, in our team opinion, which been working with Bootstrap 5 already for more than a half a year, it's um, already stable version. And I wouldn't uh, be afraid to use it for my new project, even when it comes to the production environments. So now let's have a look at what has actually changed uh, other than documentation and dependencies. So as I mentioned, there are not that many issues which has been fixed, so let's go quickly through them. So the first issue uh, was related to model animation. Uh, so every time you open a model with a static backdrop and you click somewhere else, you've seen this scroll popping up like now. You can see that here, and that was has happening um, when you were using Firefox. Uh, that has been fixed now. There are some other issues with scrollable model on Internet Explorer. It's gone, it's fixed now. Some smaller issues with um, uh, tooltips uh, while hovering, and uh, that also has been resolved. And that's mostly it. Obviously, there are uh, other smaller issues, some typos, some CSS adjustments, uh, some colors adjustment, uh, which uh, has been shipped. Uh, but as I mentioned, there are very, this, these are very, very small issues. So you can see that this product um, becomes very, very stable. And as far as enhancements are concerned, there are new Toast examples options. So now you can add custom content easily. So this makes this um, element more flexible. Before it was, uh, it was more difficult to add some other things like buttons and, uh, and content. And there are new color schemes. So we, you can use Bootstrap color utilities to easily adjust a scheme of our um, alerts, which allows us to, for example, for example, to create a dark mode, dark version of those, which is very, very cool. There are some new classes uh, for border utilities, so now we can change them uh, using simply CSS class. And except for what we already said, Bootstrap also added um, dark mode to some of its components, like carousel, dropdowns, or alerts, which we talked about before. There were also some small changes in design for the close button and position utilities. Uh, as I said, Bootstrap also highlights that there are a lot of updates in the documentation, but as we discussed, this update doesn't bring a lot of breaking changes. There are just small enhancements. So as I mentioned uh, to you before, uh, 
Bootstrap 5 Alpha 2 seems to uh, ship some small adjustments, a lot of uh, um, enhancement documentation, and um, yeah, this gave me a very, very good feeling on this project, and I'm really hoping to see um, Bootstrap beta version soon, and I'm quite sure, I really hope that they're gonna uh, ship a stable version before the end of this year. And if you want to learn more about Bootstrap 5, if you haven't had a chance to work with it, do check the description down below um, where you're gonna find a link to our comprehensive tutorial one and a half hour on Bootstrap 5, uh, how to use it, what has changed in compared to Bootstrap 4, uh, where you're gonna find a lot of examples uh, which are still valid because as I mentioned, Bootstrap 5 Alpha 2 doesn't change uh, almost anything, it's just getting this product even better than it used to be before. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.